in my opinion, and without trying to be too defeatist, given the way that Tokyo demolishes its architecture so easily, it was inevitable. The Nakagin Capsule Tower by Kishu Kurukawa will be torn down soon. Again, in my personal opinion, this is one of the very few iconic buildings that Tokyo has. And I will argue towards the end of this video that the building also is symbolic for what Tokyo is. I don't want to talk about the problems and the poor state that the building is in. It really speaks for itself. The place is really falling apart, look at that. Pretty sad. I think this is typical of the way Tokyo treats buildings in general. Instead, I want to focus what the building represents. Let's start with a bit of history. The building was completed in March 1972. Conceptually, the design came out of the metabolist movement, the merging of biological growth in architectural mega-projects. Two towers, 11 and 13 stories high, are clad with 140 capsules, each, as Kurukawa proudly proclaimed, cantilevered with only four high-tension bolts. The capsules of light-gorge steel were fabricated in a factory in Shiga Prefecture. Despite its industrial appearance, some of the work was actually done by hand. Each unit came fully furnished, complete with built-in appliances and a prefabricated bathroom unit. The idea being that the capsules could be detachable and replaceable. Nakagin is one of the very few plug-in architecture projects actually realized. But over the last 49 years, these capsules remained rigidly attached, now soon to be dismantled and sold to museums around the world. So what do I mean with the symbolic significance of the capsule tower? I have mentioned this before and written about it in my book, Architecture is Space for Human Activities. Ludwig Hilbersheimer, also called the punk of modernism, wrote in 1927 that the city is nothing more than a collection of rooms, manifested as an element of buildings that form the city. It is here, in the Nakagin capsule tower, that we can see these ideas so clearly expressed. As I have explained in my video about the book Tokyo Style, Tokyo is a collection of individual rooms. Tokyo is a transitional space in which all the human activities – working, eating, sleeping, relaxing, even sex – do not take place in one space, in the traditional home. No, these activities are spread throughout the city, and the individual cell, the room, the capsule – is just one part of that activity. That is why I think the building is such a symbolic icon for that transitional space of what we call Tokyo and what Tokyo stands for.